Hello everyone, now I will show you how to set up your Netgear router, R6350. And before I start, I want to remind you, that if my video will help you, you can buy me a coffee. I donate 50% of all coffee's purchases to animal shelters. Details can be found in the description below. So, start by turning on the router. Plug one end of the power adapter into a wall outlet. and plug the other end of the adapter into the router. Then press the power button. Once it's turned on, a light will illuminate. It may take a few minutes for it to completely turn on. Connect the cable from your internet provider or from your modem to the internet port. This port is usually a different color and is often labeled internet. Each cable should be inserted until it clicks. Now, you need to reset the router to the factory settings. Press and hold the reset button on the router for 10 seconds until the indicator lights on the router begin to flash. Sometimes, the button is located inside the router casing to avoid accidental pressing. In this case, use a thin object to press on it. The router will reboot and the settings will return to the factory defaults. Connect one end of the Ethernet cable, which is provided with the router, into a LAN port. the other end, into your computer's Ethernet card. Wait a few minutes for connection. Great, we've connected the router to your computer. Now, you will need to set it up. But first, I am going to show you another way to connect to the router if you do not have an Ethernet cable or if your computer does not have an Ethernet port. All you need to do is connect the router to the power adapter and the cable provided by your internet service provider. This will enable Wi-Fi. If your router is new and hasn't been set up yet, your Wi-Fi network will be called the same as your router. Your router has a unique Wi-Fi network name and password printed on a label. Connect to it. Great, you've connected to the router. Now let's start setting it up. First, open your browser and go to the URL you see on screen. Use the address bar instead of the search bar. At the beginning, click here. Then read Netgear Terms and Conditions and click I Agree button. Now you must select No. I want to configure the internet connection myself and click Next button, and then click OK. If your router settings do not look like mine, it means that your router has a different firmware. I made a video for each kind of firmware. You can find all the links in the description down below. The first thing you need to do is set up a new password. The password for the administrator is used for logging into the web interface of your router. Pay attention to the password requirements. Type new password in the first field and duplicate password in the second field. Next, select two security questions and write answers to those questions. You will need them in case you need to reset the admin password in the future. Click Next. The next page will display the information needed to connect to a Wi-Fi network. If you want, you can print them out. Click Next button. If you haven't updated your router in a while, the next page might automatically start updating the firmware. 
If a newer version is available, I recommend updating the firmware. It will take about 3 minutes for firmware update. Please, do not turn off the power or press reset button. If the new firmware is not available, just click OK. After updating the firmware, you may be redirected to the Netgear website, where you can register your router. If you want it, you can do it. I won't do that, so I'll just close this window. Log into the router's web interface again, if you were logged out of it. Enter the standard username admin and password that you created a few minutes ago. Press sign in button. In the upper right corner, you can change the language of the router's web interface. To get the internet, go to advanced. Setup wizard. Press no. I want to configure the router myself. Then press next button. On the next page, choose the internet settings. In most cases, there are two options, connection with and without a login. Almost always, your internet connection will not require a login. Check your contract with your internet provider for this information. If your internet connection does not require you to log in, or if you are not sure whether you need to log in or not, select no. Leave account name and domain name unchanged. Then in Internet IP Address section, choose Get Dynamically from ISP. In the DNS section, select Get Automatically from ISP as well. If your ISP only allows Internet access to a specific MAC address, you need to clone the MAC address of the primary computer. Select Use Default MAC Address if you are not sure about these settings. Check again that your settings are the same as mine. And click Apply. Most of the time, it's unnecessary to copy the MAC address. But if you can't get the internet connection after quick setup, later, in the video, I will show you how to clone MAC address. Now you need to reboot the router. Go to Advanced. Advanced Home. Click on the Reboot button. And click OK. After the reboot, wait a couple of minutes and try to Google something. If it's failed, then check all the cables. They must be connected correctly. Then log into the router control panel again. Go to basic. Internet. And choose use computer MAC address. Click apply button. And then reboot router again. Check your internet connection after a few minutes. That's all. I want to remind you that if you found this video helpful, please buy me a coffee. Every pint of coffee helps me in the creation of more valuable content for you.